Hey guys, so today in this video, I'm going to be doing something similar to the last video that I did. I'm going to be drawing Lamar Jackson as the Flash. So I had a lot of fun in the last video where I drew Nick Bosa as the Hulk. Uh, kind of wanted to continue this style where I'm sort of copying an existing uh, comic book cover and uh, turn it into a football player. So I thought uh, the Flash would be a perfect fit for Lamar Jackson because he's such a fast runner and he's uh, potentially the fastest quarterback in NFL history. I don't know, maybe Michael Vick was faster, but if it's not Michael Vick, he's, he's probably the fastest or the second fastest. So I thought that'd be a perfect fit. And especially since he runs so much, uh, it's kind of a, a big part of his game. So I thought that would work out well there. And I used a couple of different uh, flash covers that I found on the internet. And one, you know, kind of serves for the pose of him running. And then the other one kind of just serves for like the title and also just kind of the style that I was going for, the sort of lightning effect that's uh, surrounding him. So I thought those worked pretty well. You know, I started with pencil just to do the rough sketch and then I outlined it with ink and then I'm coming in now with uh, the ink marker that I have, basically sort of draw the outlines and the cross hatching and the, the varying line weights and all that stuff. And I'm doing that kind of the normal way that I normally do all my drawings, um, just with traditional medium. But with this one particular drawing, I'm going to end up doing the colors uh, digitally on the computer. And, you know, it's something different and I wanted to try uh, just to see how it goes. Um, as you can see in uh, the Flash draw or comic that I had for inspiration, the way they did the lightning bolts with that glow effect on it, you really can't get that with markers. Um, so I figured I can get that on the computer, so I might as well try. Uh, try to do this digitally and, and see if I can pull it off, see if I can get that to work. So I'm just gonna be drawing just pen and ink here on this uh, physical piece of paper on this bristle board here, uh, like I normally do. Um, but I'm just doing the outlines, I'm not doing colors or anything like that. And then I just uh, scan in the computer and do the colors digitally from there. So here you can see uh, the ink drawing and all the detail that I've got there and everything that's going on with that drawing. So first thing I did when I uh, scanned it into the computer is I tweaked the uh, proportions. And you know, this isn't my best drawing proportions wise. There's definitely a few issues. So I was able to go into Photoshop and liquefy that and sort of tweak some things. You know, his head was a little bit too small. His arm was kind of a little bit too big. And uh, you know, tweak the, the football and just kind of tweak a little bit of everything that needed to be fixed. So that is one of the benefits of digital that you can't do uh, when you're just drawing on a piece of paper is you can always tweak it, you can always improve it. But when you're drawing on a piece of paper, I mean, uh, especially if you're using markers and ink, I mean, you can't, you can't undo, you know, if you're painting, you can paint over that and fix it that way. But with markers and ink, you know, whatever mark you put down there, it's pretty much final. So um, it's just a different way of doing it. Um, obviously, digital where you've got an undo button and you can always tweak things. Um, there's a lot of benefits to that. But you know, I think there's something about having that physical paper that you know, if you mess up on it's messed up for good. Uh, there's something about, you know, doing art that way that, that I just kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a, a very sacred thing where it's like, you know, that you got to do it perfect. Uh, the first time there's no undos. So I definitely like doing it that way. Um, like I said, the digital, you know, it's nice because you have way more options and you can always tweak things. But one of the drawbacks is I found that this took way longer than, uh, than just coloring with markers. And maybe that's because I was just tweaking things uh, way too much. But 
I just felt like it probably took, you know, three or four times as long as it normally takes me to do the markers, to do this digitally. So, um, so yeah, it definitely took a lot longer. <clears throat> but like I said, you have a lot more control. You can tweak things that got messed up. So that is one of the benefits there. But as you can see here, I'm uh, doing what they call flatting, which is where I'm basically just putting a color behind all of the main shapes. And, uh, you know, that's the first step you do. And then after you've got uh, the flats down, I can go in there and uh, put all the, the shadows and the highlights and, um, you know, put additional blocks of color to create all those shadows and highlights and everything. And that is another benefit of doing digital is that you can add highlights on top of your, your base colors with markers. You pretty much have to do the highlights first. And if you forget a highlight, you can't go back and do it. Uh, you can really only make your drawing darker, but you can't make it lighter. So you're kind of stuck there. You kind of have to plan things out initially and uh, hope you don't forget anything. But like I said, you know, that's one of the things that makes uh, traditional artwork kind of better is that you can't undo it. So it's, it's a lot riskier. So if you're able to draw something and it turns out well, you know, kind of earned it there. But yeah, I mean, guys, let me know uh, if, if you like this drawing where I'm doing these comic covers and kind of doing a football player as a comic book hero, or if you prefer kind of the old drawings that I was doing, or is just sort of copying a specific football player from a pose, a little bit more traditional. It's, you know, it's comic style, but they weren't uh, like a comic book cover. So yeah, let me know which one of those you prefer. I think I kind of like these, uh, these new comic cover styles. It's kind of nice to be able to do like a background and, you know, add some other players uh, from the opposing team and things like that at the stadium. So it kind of adds a new a new uh, element to it that I think makes it a little bit more dynamic, makes it a little bit cooler. But uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think, which, uh, which way of drawing you prefer, which one you like better. And if there's a specific player that you'd like to see me draw, uh, as a comic character or just in general, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. But, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And uh, definitely like it for the algorithm. I appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.